Hey team, I am going to record a quick video. Um, I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly how I ran that ad. Um, it's actually super easy and I didn't even use Power Editor this time and it's getting great, um, it's getting great engagement right now. So I figured what's the hurt in sharing it with the team and hopefully you guys can run the same ad or something close to it and get the same results I am. So I'm just gonna share my screen real quick here. All right, so I'll just go to Facebook. Um, upper left-hand corner, you're gonna see Ads Manager. It always takes a minute to load Ads Manager. Okay. So I didn't even go into Power Editor. I just went to um, create an ad right here, this little green box. And when you're um, running an ad for a, a photo on your page, you're gonna choose, it's in the awareness category, uh, boost your posts, that's basically what it means, um, and it'll, you click that, it's page post, page post engagement, that's just what it's called. That's what gets your post out to the world, out to more people. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and name this wine three. Um, you can keep track of your ads with different names. Hit continue. And then you simply create your audience. Um, I chose the United States, obviously, because this company is only in the United States right now. Um, everyone in this location, I chose people who live in this location because not everybody in the United States is li like is, lives here normally. Um, so I always choose that the United States. They have to be 21 and older. But since I am 39, I don't really connect well with 18 or 21, 22, 23 year olds anymore. Um, so I chose 30 to 45 because that's who I feel like I'll have the, the most connection with. But you can choose whoever you feel like you would have a connection with. And I did choose women because I connect with women way more than men, obviously. Um, I know this business is not just for women, but that's who I'm going to be connecting with. Um, enter our English language. That's kind of a no brainer. Um, if you speak Spanish, you could throw Spanish in there too. Um, or if you just want to speak to Spanish people, just use Spanish. Um, as far as the, the targeting, this is where you put in. Um, I kind of just played around with this and I put in. Um, at first I said moms who, and I was like, oh, moms who need wine. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's definitely me. So I chose that. And I think that's all I did. I think, um, I think I might've put in wine lovers too. Let me see if I did that. I can't remember. But you can play around with this however you want. Yeah, I did. I did um, Moms Who Need Wine and Wine Lovers. So that's it. This potential reach is 230,000 people, and that's actually good because you don't want it to be um, too big. And I did some Facebook training that explained that. I can't really explain it myself. Basically, like if it's too big of a potential reach, you're going to get people that you, you don't even connect with. So the 200,000... 230,000 people, that was a good reach. Connection type, always choose exclude people who like your page. That is because you want um, this ad to hit people that do not like your page because it's a potential like for your page. And if they already like the page, then you're not going to get any likes from the ad. Sometimes a paid uh, these page post engagement 
ads bring me way more likes to my page than even running a like page ad I've found. So this kind of kills two birds with one stone. You get likes and you get comments and stuff like that. So I always choose exclude people who like your page. Type your page name in there. You can save the audience if you want. Um, I think I already saved this audience, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, these automatic placements, I personally, you can do whatever you feel is best for you. Um, I always click edit placements because I don't want myself on Instagram right now. Um, so I just uncheck that box. And at first it looks like it's unchecking both of these boxes, but it's not. Like, cause you can see that shadow X is still, or that shadow check is still there. So I just turned off the Instagram cause I'm not really working the Instagram page right now. Um, daily budget, that's up to you. Uh, I chose, since it's a weekend and I know people like to drink on the weekends, um, I chose $25 per day and no, I cannot afford to spend that every single day, like not even close. Um, but I did $25 per day. I started it at, um, you know, I just chose a time. It was like eight o'clock this morning. I started it and I have it ending on the ninth. Um, I have it ending on the ninth that, uh, like 10 p.m. I think so I'm just gonna run it over the weekend yes I know I know um, so you can choose whatever days you want you can just click this run my ad continuously if you do want to spend a certain amount of day like um, on my other page I do five dollars a day for an ad and that works really well I have people to talk to every single day um, and you know I get my invites out of the way right away because I have you know that covered but um, five dollars a day you could do a dollar a day whatever that you can do whatever to start getting your page out there um, just add name your ad set oops it was line three um, and hit continue I'm not really gonna like order this, so, <laughs> cause I already have the ad going. Now, when you hit continue, um, this pops up, and this is where you actually put your post that you're going to use for your ad. You make that post. So, um, this page is already checked. You can choose a post that you already have on your page to um, use, or you can, uh, make a new one. Ouch. Oh my gosh, my cat just bit me out of nowhere. Nice, right? Uh, let's see. How did I do that? Use existing. Oh, click on use existing post and then create a new ad. Now this is where you'll come in and create your, your actual ad. So, um, this is all really self-explanatory. You just got to go through the process and follow what it's saying. Um, I uploaded. I don't want this. I don't want, it always chooses your cover photo for one of your images. Just get rid of it because you don't want your cover photo as your ad image. Um, and so this is where you'll come to upload images. And I just chose this lovely photo that Jennifer had on her page. And it looks like it's going to look like this, but it's not. This is what, I know Ashley, you had asked me this question. This is what it looks like on your page. It doesn't, it's not um, horizontal like that. It'll actually look like this photo. Um, and then you type your text in. It always populates the text that was there before. I have no idea why it does that. Um, and then just type in here the um, text that I gave you guys or your own words, change it up however you want. Um, I just was like, attention, wine lovers. And yeah, and then just type in whatever you want. And then after you're all done with that, you're done. You are ready. I'm not going to actually place the order on this ad because it's not one that I want to do. 
Um, you can review your order and see exactly what's going to happen. So this post is one name wine three. It's a page post engagement post. Location United States, excluding people who like wine for life. It's going to be in the Facebook feeds and right Facebook column, which I hate the Facebook right column. Nobody ever clicks on that, but I do not know how to get rid of that. It drives me crazy. Um, but the Facebook feeds is what you want. It'll tell you how much money you're going to spend a day and then show you a little bit of your app. So right here, you'll say place order and then you just wait. You wait for Facebook to approve it. Um, and if they approve it, yay. If they don't approve it, um, you go back to the drawing board and try to figure out what wording you can use that um, they will approve. Because there's certain words sometimes that Facebook doesn't like. I was actually really surprised that they approved this wine ad in the first place because it mentions making money and they don't like that. But I was very pleased that it went through and it seems to be working very well. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, I'm really, really excited about this and um, let me know if you guys have any questions after watching this and I will be happy to answer them. All right. Have a good night, guys.